welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Before we start today's video, I wanted to say thank you for everybody entering the I Doing Head Unit giveaway. We still got a, about 100, 150 or so subscribers to go before I pick a winner. Uh, but I just wanted to thank you for all the support and all the likes and comments and everything. Uh, it's been overwhelming and pretty crazy to see how many people are interested in picking this up or actually getting it from the giveaway. Uh, so if you haven't yet, be sure to click on the top right corner in the video to see how you guys can enter. Because pretty soon I'm going to pick a winner of the iDoing Android head unit. So now let's get on to the actual video. Tonight we're actually installing a front brace bar. Now this is by a brand called Lower Class Garage. I'll put their Instagram up on the screen so you guys can check them out. They're a fairly small company, you know, they're not huge or anything like that. Uh, but I've always wanted one of these. I've been a huge fan of having, you know, braces or, or air intake scoops behind the grill. I always thought that looked cool. I always liked that pop of color. Plus with everything I got going on in the engine bay and the, and the parent strut bar, I thought this was a really, really nice addition. Uh, so basically, uh, I already have the bumper off, as you guys know, because I'm waiting on a bunch of parts. Uh, but basically, it goes behind the crash bar in front of the radiator there. So it um, adds a little pop of color, and I think it looks really cool behind the grill. And plus, you can see it underneath in the lower lower section of the bumper as well. Um, now, in terms of structural rigidity, if it increases actual performance or anything like that, you know, that's subjective. I really don't think it really adds that much or anything that I would notice at least. Um, I bought this purely for cosmetic and just for looks because I like the look of it. Um, so it's nothing to really write home about. It's not going to increase performance or anything. Uh, it might it might help stiffen up the front end just a little bit just because you're tying two points together. Um, and anytime you do that on any part of the car, you know, connecting left to right, right to left, um, it's going to add some rigidity to the overall chassis. So you might be able to argue that it adds a little bit of performance, but I'm not here saying that it is. <laughs> but again, this is purely cosmetic. Um, and I just really wanted it ever since I saw it. I actually saw this on Instagram from another STI owner. Uh, they have a World Rally Blue one, and they had the you know 2018 plus brakes with you know the acid green, and they had the acid green uh, front strut brace like this, uh, and it looked really good. It matched really well. It wasn't too in your face, but it added a nice pop of color behind the grill. Uh, so I actually hit him up, and I was like, "Hey man, you know where'd you pick that up?" And he directed me towards this. Um, so I'll put the picture of his car that caught my attention up in the right-hand corner for you guys. The lead time on this was kind of long. Um, and, you know, obviously this is handmade. Um, it's not a huge company, so it's not like they have these on stock or on the shelf. They can just send them out right away. I think what they do is wait for a bunch of them to be bought, and then they you know, weld everything up, and then they send them out to, to paint. Um, so, you know, it's not something that you can just get right away because I believe I waited about three weeks for this. Um, so, you know, it takes some time, but honestly, uh, I'm, you know, it doesn't bother me. It's not like something that I really needed. It's not like I, I needed it for the car to drive or anything like that. It's one of those things that just takes a little bit of time. You know, it's custom, it's handmade, uh, so it takes a little bit, but, uh, the quality of it is really, really nice. The welds are nice. You know, it's not the prettiest looking welds, but they're painted over so you can't really tell. Um, the really, really nice part about this and one of the reasons why I wanted to get this one, it uses factory bolt holes and bolts. Um, so you're literally just bolting it up right to the actual uh, car. I'll show you exactly where it needs to go, um, but it comes with no hardware because you use the stock bolts uh, and it lines up perfectly. Um, what you do need to do is remove the front crash beam. Um, obviously, you're gonna put that back on, but you need to remove it to get this on first. Um, so let's go ahead, let's uh, get the front crash beam off right here. Um, it seems pretty simple. I believe it's just four bolts. There's one, two, and then two on the bottom of that. Th same thing on the other side, then it slides off. Um, and then I'll show you where the actual bolts go and how it hooks on. We're gonna go ahead and remove these four 12 millimeters. There's two on top and two on the bottom. got the front crash bar off. Now the bolts that we're going to use are the ones up here. So one, two, and then on the bottoms here on this one, we're going to actually re uh, bolt it right into the crash bar bolt here. Um, so it's very straightforward. Uh, you know, like I said, it was just four bolts to remove that. Uh, but now we're going to remove these. I believe these are 10 millimeter just by looking at it. Um, and then we're going to screw the bigger 12 millimeters into the bottom here. Um, so let's go ahead, loosen them up, get the front ones in first, and then uh, go from there.
I did was just I screwed in the top uh, 10 millimeters there just loosely so if I need to kind of position it a little bit uh, I can move it around uh, and then I just place the crash bar back on it's just sitting there um, I'll show you a close-up if I can that where the actual bottom bracket bolts into uh, but so far clearance and, and fitment and everything is spot on um, and I'm really digging this look I think it looks really cool so let me go ahead and uh, bolt up these 12 millimeters and um, I'll show you everything and kind of the final Beautiful. We are done. It doesn't happen that a mod goes this smoothly and this quickly. Uh, so we are installed. Um, so as you can see, all I did was remove the four 12 millimeters, the two 10 millimeters up top here, uh, and that was it. Simply had to reuse the 10 millimeters up here. And if we look on the crash beam, there's two up here. Then we go underneath. Um, there's one here. And then the right here, the bottom right, is the one you use to um, bolt up right to the brace. So it's the same thing on the other side. There's plenty of clearance down here. Um, the one thing I noticed, this was kind of buttoned up against this little horn here. Um, so what I did was just kind of bend it back a little bit and there's enough clearance so it's not going to rattle or anything. Uh, but overall, yeah, it looks really good. Um, obviously, I can't really show you what it looks like with the bumper on because <laughs> I'm still waiting on a few parts. Uh, but you can kind of get the idea of what it looks like. It's purely cosmetic. Like I said, it doesn't really add any rigidity to the front end. Um, you could argue, like I said, maybe a little bit, but it's not really in any, um, you know, strong points of the car. The bolt up here is kind of just to this little piece over here. So it's, I mean, it's on there very, very well. So it may help a little bit. I wouldn't really categorize this mod as a performance oriented mod. Um, I'm, I'm putting it as a, you know, cosmetic uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. It's very subtle and I think it's going to tie in very nicely with all the white in the engine bay. So it kind of flows um, all around, especially with the white STI logos on the side and everything. And um, yeah, so cool little touch. Um, if you guys want to check it out, it's Lower Class Garage. Um, they spell a little differently. So, you know, you can't just type Lower Class Garage in the Google. But again, you saw in the beginning of the video, I showed their Instagram account. Go check them out, really cool guys. Um, like I said, the lead time is a little bit longer, uh, but it's definitely worth it. Fitment is perfect. I didn't have to finagle anything. There's no cutting, there's no drilling involved. It's literally just bolting up right to the OEM uh, bolt holes and everything, and it fit perfectly. It looks really good. Um, you can get it in all, a bunch of different colors. Um, for me, like I said, I just chose the white because that's kind of what I'm going with here. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.